Hey folks, so this is a YouTube video showing how I was able to fix a problem with my 2004 Honda Accord EX V6. I was driving down the highway. The check engine light, which, which is that yellow one right there, uh, it actually now it's solid, uh, but it started, uh, it started blinking while I was driving. I think it's going to do that in one second here so you can see what it looks like started blinking while I was driving engine uh, something like that is what it looked like not the other two lights uh, just that one just the check engine light started blinking and uh, the car started acting really sluggish uh, took it over to advanced auto parts which is a really cool place because uh, they have a this little diagnostic computer that they uh, plug into there's a little like, connector cord somewhere down under the dash here where they, they plug their tool into and uh, they show you what the, uh, what the problem is. A diagnostic uh, tool reads your, your car's computer. So uh, I did that and uh, what they told me, let me go out and take a look under the hood here. What they did uh, told me was that the uh, engine was misfiring on five of the six cylinders plus had a random misfire. By the way, for those of you who uh, don't know, uh, this, uh, now this is a 2004 Accord EX V6, but this, this model is exactly the same for Honda Accord from 2003 to 2007. So any, any uh, year car between 2003 and 2007 Honda Accord, it's going to be identical, absolutely. So after, uh, after he told me about the misfires, uh, I did a little bit of research and uh, uh, I've seen some posts uh, on the internet about this. This, this is, a, as I said, it's a three liter uh, VTEC V6. Um, some people were uh, talking about this problem, about this uh, multiple misfires and the engine light on, and I didn't really see any, any good solutions to it. The key to, to understanding how to fix this problem is to realize that for some reason, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a glitch in the computer or something, but when the Honda computer uh, sends out diagnostic codes to the tool, it, uh, it tells it that it's misfiring on like five of six cylinders or maybe all cylinders. In fact, I think in, in my case that the, uh, the engine computer told the diagnostic tool that every cylinder was misfiring except the one that actually was misfiring. So um, what I did is I did my own uh, investigation and found out that uh, in fact uh, it was only one uh, one of the ignition coils that was bad. So I'm going to show you right now uh, how to how to uh, look at the coil, replace it, how to diagnose it, and uh, replace it if uh, if you find the bad one. Uh, on this side of the car, the front, uh, this cover uh, comes off. There's just these two screws, one over here and one over here. What you do is you just you just, these little plastic things, you just turn them a half a turn like that. Same thing over here, just, just a half a turn just to unlock it. It doesn't unscrew, it just unlocks. Uh, after you do that, the thing just pretty much just pulls off. You just pull it off over here, pull it off over on this side, and then it comes off. But you'll notice, by the way, that um, it's, it's connected. There, there's a little tab uh, down there. It's kind of hard to see. It's like right, it's like right down here. This little this little tab. Uh, there's a wire. There's a wire underneath. That's this wire right here. That's uh, it's just clipped. It's just clipped to this thing for to make it steady, you know. And uh, you can, if you really need to take this thing loose and take it away, you can unclip that uh, that wire. There's, uh, you have to reach in there, and uh, on on either side of that, uh, on e either side of that tab, right? E either side of that that lug, there's like a little tab. There's there's uh, there's like a, li a little a little tab on this side. There's another one on the other side of it, and you just got to push them in like with a screwdriver, and then and then pull out that uh, pull out that wire. Uh, for the, for the purposes of uh, today, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to kind of push it aside uh, a little bit, kind of kind of like that. So here you can see the on this side uh, of the car. Here's the uh, 
here's the ignition coils. Uh, there's one per cylinder, one here, one here, one here. They're also on the back side of the engine. They don't have a cover on them uh, on the back side, but there's the three of them over here. Here's one, there's another one there. Sorry, I know it's not viewing too good. And then the third one is over, over here. So, and actually for mine, that's the one that was bad. Uh, you should be able to take any of these out with the exception maybe of the middle one. Okay, this one here, you might have to move this hose, which isn't too, too, too difficult. You just take this bolt right here, just unscrew it, take it out, and then take the hose and just, you know, move it off to the side to, to get it out of the way. But, uh, so I'm, I'm not going to do anything with that one over there. I'm just going to show you on the front here how, how to fix the problem. So, uh, first how to diagnose the problem. What you do is, uh, with the engine running, you take these, uh, this electrical connection, you can see it just has like a, a little tab here on the side that, that pushes in. You just you push in on that, right? you kind of squeeze and just shake, you know, it's just typical electrical connection, and then pull it off, right? Let's see, that's what the, uh, that's what the connection looks like. And then that leaves you the, uh, the ignition coil. What you do is you do that on all uh, cylinders. And while the, with the engine running one at a time though, you disconnect the cord. And what you'll find is that if a, if a coil is good, when you unplug it, there'll be a slight decrease in engine performance. You'll hear the engine speed go down. It'll just, it'll rev a little slower, you know, something like that. So you, you, if, that, if that happens, you plug it back in and you move on to the next one. You go through all of them, and when you unplug the one where nothing happens, there's no change, no decrease in speed, engine performance. Oh, nature break. There's a white-tailed hawk doing some hunting. He's who was making all the noise there. Oh, I thought I could catch him for you. Okay, never mind. Back to the goods. Okay. So you unplug these one at a time, and when, when you find the one that doesn't has, has no effect, that's the bad one. And it's very easy to replace, okay? Uh, here's, what the, here's what the replacement looks like. On mine, I got this Hitachi. I got this Advanced Auto Parts also, CM11207A, which is the same uh, serial, not the same model number that was in the uh, that was in the car uh, originally, so I replaced it with the same uh, Hitachi part, okay? So just to show you, um, these things uh, get removed uh, pretty easily. There's just one bolt. Let me push this thing out of the way here. There's just one bolt, all right, right there that holds it in. It's a, it's a, second, uh, it's a six millimeter uh, hex uh, wrench, okay? So you can see, I'm just gonna put the six millimeter in there. This is a good cylinder, by the way, a good coil, by the way. I'm just showing you how to remove them. You know, it's not very difficult. Okay, so when you first uh, first do it, probably gonna have to apply a little force to, to break the nut like that, you see? Then after that, the nut just comes out. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the bolt just, just comes out uh, rather, rather easily. Let me just unscrew that, all right? Set, set that aside. And then uh, the coil itself, you can see. There's the coil itself. You can see it's very easy. You just give it a little, a little, a little twist and it just, it just comes right out. You see, really easy. You know, I'll, just, I'll just slide this one right back in because this is a good one and putting it in is as easy as taking it out. It doesn't really, it, it doesn't really lock, it just kind of pushes in place. You can see there's like a little, a little uh, foam gasket here around the top that helps to seal it. Uh, but there's really, you know, it's, it's just, a, it's a little bit of a positive. Once it's pushed in all the way, you'll feel it's a little positive lock, right? When it's out, it'll twist. When it's in, it'll kind of get locked in. And then you just take the bolt, Screw the bolt back in. T 
tighten it up. Of course, the, this uh, this operation of changing the the uh, the coil is something you would do after you shut the car off. And uh, that's it. Clip clip your cover back on the way you took it off, and uh, you're good to go. Now, probably what you'll find is that uh, the uh, the check engine light on the car is going to continue to remain on even after the problem uh, is solved. So the way to take care of that is to uh, is to just disconnect the battery and then uh, reconnect it. So uh, usually I do it uh, by disconnecting the positive terminal, which I've already done here. I'm not going to do it now because I've already disconnected it. Um, if you if your battery terminals are like totally corroded with with crud like uh, like mine wires this is, this is a good time to take an opportunity to clean them which is uh, really very easy to do uh, I just use this here it's kind of dirty because I've already cleaned the, uh, the corrosion off the terminals but this is very simply a mixture of baking soda and water and that's it just take an old to toothbrush you're not using any more uh, emphasis on not using any more and then uh, just use it to scrub off the, um, the terminals, uh, wipe them off with a paper towel. Be really careful. Uh, don't get any of that uh, uh, corrosion that was on the terminals uh, in your eyes. It's probably even best not to get it on your skin. Wear gloves if you can stand that or just be very careful and uh, don't, don't get it on your skin. Or if you do, wipe it off quickly. Uh, once the, t the positive terminal is off, go inside the car and uh, step on the brake pedal and it'll activate the tail light and drain any remaining juice from the uh, from the bad from the computer then uh, connect the battery terminal again by the way don't forget to to uh, figure out what your radio code is before you disconnect this battery because it'll erase the radio codes and you'll have to input it back in Every, these these cars have a like a five digit uh, code to activate your radio as an anti-theft device so so anyway um, hope that helps uh, I thought this was this might have been a major problem but it turned out it was a, a fairly uh, easy fix the part at uh, advanced auto parts was about $40 uh, with their um, with their uh, discount uh, they had a uh, promotion going and that was it very easy cylinder misfire fix on a 2003 two set to 2007 Honda Accord EX V6. Thanks for watching.